to my channel. I'm Lisa Natash. Today I'm going to show you how you can create two um, bases for uh, your centerpieces. And uh, um, these are just very, very simple bases. So I just created two um, centerpieces, the top of it, and then decided to just do a separate video for this uh, base. Now, um, so I'm going to be using this beautiful glass vase here. And I got this, got a tape on it. I got this at Michael's and I got it on sale. And I believe I got it for 20 bucks. Um, so it original price was 30, I think it's 28 and change. And I got it for 20 bucks. Now um, I'm gonna be filling this with um, floral beads, the gel beads, which are these. Ooh, right here all little gels and they look like this see that <laughs> cut your little face so that's what they look like and I have soaked them in water for I think I've been soaking them for 48 hours you can just soak them for 24 or 4 hours or just a couple hours but the more, longer you soak them the bigger they get and um and they will fill more space so you're gonna see how pretty this is going to be so i'm gonna create this one for a bigger floral um center piece and this is going to be for the smaller center piece um this one i got from the dollar tree and i paid a dollar for it so i I made two centerpiece, same theme, same color, and just to see the difference with pricing and how beautiful they both can still look. Okay, so this is gonna be the Dollar Tree centerpiece and this um, the top that's gonna to go on and this is gonna be the Michaels, okay? So, I'm using water beads or gels. Now, with the floral beads, I'm going to add some um, accent to the vase and this is gonna be um, added to the larger vase. And these are just floral accents and I got them from uh, Michael's it has this little stem on it I don't need that for what I'm planning to do I'm just gonna cut it off as close to the base as I can with my wire cutter there we go and then we're gonna put that away and I'm gonna cut the other one there we go so now we just have these two prickly balls also I have these um, little pearls that I got from Amazon. And guess what? They also are sold at the Dollar Tree. So you can get them at the Dollar Tree, Dollar Store. And um, they come in different sizes. So now I'm just gonna fill these up and um, add the pearl um, as I go on. So I'm just gonna pour these in there. Let's use a cup. I'm gonna pour some more. Okay. And then I'm. Do you want to help, sweetie? Yeah. All right. So I'll pour, and then you add. Are you? Okay. Let's see. I'll pour, and then you add the gems. Okay. Uh, the pearls. So then you can just add the pearls, and I'm just going to drop them like so. Put one there. I have two at the bottom. And then let me pour some in that one. For you. drop this accent in it like so and then I'm gonna fill it up more now we're gonna fill up the large one first and see what it looks like and it's just cold water and what you're gonna see is that the the gems, the floral gems, floral beads, they're gonna look transparent. And it's just gonna look, you know what, you will see. There are gonna be some bubbles in there, but eventually they'll go to the surface, they'll disappear. 
and just watch it just change in front of your eyes. that we're looking for is that the pearls are just floating in mid-air as well as this um, floral accent here like just floating in mid-air okay so this is what they look like after you add the water now there are several bubbles a lot of bubbles in there eventually um, they will come to the surface and you won't have any bubbles um, as I said, it's my first time doing this, but I noticed that if you add too many of the water gems, then it's gonna t the bubbles are going to take longer to, um, to disappear. So don't add too much. I think I add too much to this one. Okay, so um, I made two centerpieces before I did this tutorial. And if you're interested to see how I made these centerpieces that I'm going to place on top of these um, vases, just... Um, check out the card that I'm going to add to the end of this video. Okay. All right, so this is a centerpiece that I created from the, the Dollar Tree. I think it looks pretty good. This is the larger centerpiece now. I used the flowers I got from Michael. It's definitely fluffier. Um, you can use it for on the bridal table or as a centerpiece. It's definitely huge or any part of your wedding. This is both of the vases uh, together. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Remember to watch that other video for the, um, the top part of the centerpiece.